Hey guys, and welcome back to our huge galaxy, our huge ring galaxy, where we are controlling the Quinti on their planet of Velotaria. Uh, right now we have three systems, Velotaria, Plateria Prime, and Kunbar Prime, where we have actual population. We haven't run into anybody quite or just yet, but we are working on it. Now, down here in Malbion, that looks like a pretty good system to control. We have volatile moats there, two of them. Once we get the research, mode stabiliza uh, stabilization we can take advantage of it right now it'd be nice to get everything else on there too though what do we have here we have in our influence not very much 48 right now we're working on uh i said custom over here custom down here and then birana is guess it's going to be next yeah we'll do that we'll keep going here and then we'll head on back maybe i could get a second i could get a second um construction ship but I'm not sure I want to do that. Hmm. Because what is it going to do, actually? We don't have anything they can actually... They can't do too much here. You know? So, anyway. What do we have? Encounter in Velutaria. We have made first contact with mysterious aliens in Velutaria. The G aliens. Well, let's take a look at that. Situation log. The G aliens. I'm going to assign somebody immediately. Because we have enough envoys here. Yep. We'll take one here. Except, we'll see what happens there. Yeah, it's going to take a while to figure that out. Now, our construction ship is also done. Let's go ahead and get the next mining station going. And our science ship down here was done. Now, looking at our choke points, there'll be one down here, one over here. I'm curious if we're going to connect here. If we are, if it is just like a one-way area that's in our backyard, I'm going to go head down here. I'm going to say explore and explore. Yeah, let's do that first. Okay, contact report, enigmatic spacefarers. We have uh, finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Yeah, finally, 12 years into it. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere in Militaria following the report from our contact fleet can best be described as raptorous. Yeah, everybody's excited, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Okay, Rastalban doesn't have anything. We're continuing up here. This is class M star. I mean, no planet there. We can colonize. Complete. Okay, construction is complete. That means you're pretty much done. We have two influence. I'm going to go up to Burana. What I was going to do, we need five more influence. I was going to take Lurzuman. And once we hold that one, that seems like a good choke point. We'll go for that. Evading hostile. Evading hostile fleet. Our, one of our spaceships, one of our science ships have run into aliens. Encounter in Kurgoros. Attempting to evade them. Okay. That's going to be the Beth aliens. Let's check it out here, what we have. Okay. Uh, there's a lot here. Now, this looks like a fleet to me, right? Yeah, for sure. This is a fleet. Now that, I think what that means is we're looking at Marauders. Most likely, I'm thinking. And we're not going to be able to enter that system at all. Goes to here, does not connect. This actually ends here. Alright, in that case, he's going to go back there. Can I get, tell him to go here instead? Yeah, I can. Let's go there. And then head on over. Yeah, we'll survey this out. If there are Marauders down here, they're kind of locked in behind, uh, behind us. Basically. Yeah, they will be. Okay, well, that'd be fine. We'll see if we can talk to them later. But before we do anything else, we had In Memoriam here. That's our mysterious benefactor, right? Very complex. Extensive seismographic readings have been compiled into a highly accurate visual model of the underground structure on Umara. It appears to be a vast network of angular corridors, each several kilometers long. The entire structure is mostly corridors, with the exception of one open space at the bottom of the building. More than that cannot be interpreted until we reach and investigate the site properly. Okay, so we're going to do that. Two more clues. So that's taken care of there. What else do we have? Now this would be the Beth aliens. Yeah, that Beth aliens there. We're going to assign an envoy right away. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm going to have all these envoys. We're going to use them finally. But it's going to be a Marauder, sir. I'm pretty sure of it. Okay, they're evading. That's fine. We're not going to attack them. But what do they have in strength here? 
I mean, it's just going to be ridiculous. Yeah, obviously we can't do anything about that. But we might be able to use them evading somehow hostile. later. Oh, you're evading that. We can't actually survey have you move over complete. there. Okay, well, we'll do it now then. We'll do survey there. Survey complete. Was that you? Yeah, that's you here in Gardner. This doesn't end. This does end. We want to go down here and just do an exploration real quick and see if it ends. I might want to do that. We'll do explore. I want to see if it stops there. Probably won't, but we'll see. Our construction ship is here, and I think we can go ahead and get the star base. Yep, we'll get it. Are we still doing good here? We are 22 in consumer goods. That's the one that we use for, to get our research up and running. And right now we're getting research labs. We have four. We have actually four jobs here. The clerk jobs are available. Negative 14. That is not great because now that we are below 50 instability, we're taking a negative modifier here. Resources from jobs, negative 4%. Trade value, negative 4. Immigration push, 8 I think what I'll do is I'll maybe we'll reduce one of these. What are we doing? Food? It might be okay to say one less food. Maybe we'll do that. This one over here. There. That means we get one more clerk. And that means this number is going to go up once I boost that up again. Um, once I start the time again. Okay, what do we have? First contact event pending. The G aliens. We have picked up readings of unknown nature. The signals seem to follow some kind of repeating syntax. Which could indicate sapien origin. It should be investigated further. Okay. We'll do that. We'll advance. We evaded that. The hostels down here. And what else? Yeah, fully surveyed. Anything else we're doing here? No, I don't think so. I think we're looking good. Well, let me see here. What do we have actually now? Available Envoys 3. If we go to Situation Log. The G aliens in the Velutaria system. Now that seems strange to me. That's not going to be... Now I don't see anybody in here, anybody else, and that's where we found that alien. So it's not going to be a regular alien, right? Not an empire. We'll see. We'll see what it is when that time comes. Now we have 12 ships. That's looking Same pretty good. Under fire. Are we under fire now? Uh, more of them here. What's the station? Yeah, we are going to leave. That means we are pretty much, I would say, safe here for a while if we pay off the Marauders. But let's go back here and survey that and then head on down this way. And we can... But yeah, maybe that's a good way to go right here and find out what we have as a blocker here. Yeah. What else are we doing? Yeah, we're looking good there. Wait, uh, missing an action. Yeah, okay, it was missing in action. It's gonna come back, but it's gonna be a while here. Alright. Encounter and Wheel. We have a lot of encounters now. We have my first contact with Lamed aliens. Okay. Where's that at? Here. Is somebody down here? Cannot be. But we're gonna talk to them right away. We have enough of these envoys. Let's go there. That's good. Construction complete. Okay, we got the star base. Let's go ahead and build all mining stations. And I think we're doing okay. We have enough coming in here, I think, yeah. We have 12 ships. I think I'm going to get more. I'm starting to feel maybe we should have a few more ships as we run into, you know, friends. We'll do Corvettes, right? Yeah, three more. It's good. Eventually, we're going to get to 20, right? Oh, wait. Here. There is something here. Oh, Lamed, you know what? That's here. It goes down here. Okay, that makes sense now. So, there's going to be somebody else here. There's a planet here, Savannah World. Huge, 24 in size. We can't colonize that, right? Can we? I don't think we can. No, we can't, 20%. Okay, well, we're still going to check it out because this is part of the habitable world survey thing that we're doing. Wait. There's a starbase here. There's already a starbase here. Well, you know what we're gonna do? Go straight down here and survey that one. That will count against that habitable world survey. We have five right now, but we can get to eight. Okay. But we do know maybe somebody's down here. We should then hurry up and take this here. 
Go down to Gardener. Yeah, Gardener. Let's do that. Discovered. And we got a tech. We got the power to exoskeletons. That's our first step towards robots. Armor damage 5% and worker pop resource output increased by 5. Never bad. We have robots we can get. Robot assembly plants that are, that is. We can do that. Mm, that'd be nice to get. I do want to get them. You know, if you develop them, if I remember correctly, if you develop them enough and make them androids, we can actually have them populate planets. We have some armor here we could do, or coil gun. But since we don't know much about our who we're going to meet here, I'm thinking this might be a real empire, but we'll see how that goes. I'm going to take the robots for now. Yeah, we'll do that. Wait, our science ship is here. It's done. Okay, good. What is on here? Nothing special, but it's big. It's huge. What do we say then? Did we get that boost? Yeah, six out of eight now. It's, I'm thinking that's the case. Somebody is here. Why don't we go down to this system? And as soon as we're done here, let's go over to Blindur, Bindur and go as fast as we can. If we can get the gardener before they do, that'd be great. I'm not 100% convinced they can do it, but maybe. At least we have Burana, so we're holding that choke point here. Another event. In Memoriam, that's the one about Benefactor. The science team finally breached the underground complex and entered the empty quarters. The long tunnels were completely empty. On closer inspection, the walls appeared to be covered in small, strange inscriptions. Translation of the alien language was a highly confusing process, until it was discovered that the writing consisted of nothing but alien names, numbering in the millions. Archaeologists are now pressing onwards to the bottom chamber, but the effort is hindered by caved-in quarters which need to be cleared. Keep digging. Three more clues. You, know, you can see that we have 30, not 20% chance to finish this chapter, which would be great. 14 ships now. We're still building one more, so we have 15 when that is done. Construction complete. Construction complete, and we have another encounter in Lurzumon. Where's Lurzumon? That's here. Hmm. Okay, so we see somebody here. Wait. Wait a second, that is definitely another empire coming in. So, we took this one at least. I'm not gonna take over there. I mean, I could. I could do it, there's somebody there. There's really not much there though, there's a little bit of uh, trade and a little bit of energy credit. Or we can go down, I think I need to go to Bindur. Because if, if this alien here comes over there, we're gonna be... Well, Platuri, I guess, is a choke point, but I don't want to lose access to all of this here. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So the question is, do we leave this area? Well, I could build another construction ship, but I can't use both of them at the same time. Just that I don't have enough influence. We'll go here. Move there. We'll leave this area to whoever is up here, I think. Beth Alien, Signs of Barbarism. Although their dwellings on habitat stations would suggest an advanced society, Envoy Galdrig is unsure whether we're un indeed dealing with an intelligent life form. It seems seem unremittingly hostile. So much that a stable society seems almost unthinkable. Now wait a minute, where is this at? They are on habitat stations. Militaria? Where are they at? Here. Oh, here, these. Yeah, okay, they're on stations there. Okay, we'll see what that is all about. Okay, that's them. Yeah, we'll be watchful. We'll continue. Yeah, I was thinking it was this one over here, but it can't be. Yeah, right. First contact done. Are we doing well here still? Obviously, we're doing well. We have five available jobs, no problem. Negative 17 is not great. What are we doing here? Oh, zero to five. Oh, uh, you know what? We should tell them to work on that, maybe. Like that? Maybe we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it like that. That's too many to be. Uh, too much negative there in this building. Okay, so it's looking okay, but I'm curious not to see. We're basically finding a couple different ones here. In memoriam, okay. Admitting defeat. Our science team down on Umara has reached the bottom chamber of the memorial structure. 
There they found an ancient recorded message, some kind of uh, personal debriefing. We failed. The relentless cut through our entire navy without even slowing down. All is lost now. We will die here, in these halls of the tribute to fallen brethren. We fear for the lives of our wards. The relentless will find them, and then they... There's no sign of a struggle. No bodies. Only empty halls and the silence of the ones who perished. Unsettling, but we're going to get one. So the Lutaria, yeah, we need to get more population there. That's for sure. So I think that was the right choice. Because we don't want immigration push there, I don't think. We want more population. Technology discovered. Okay, new technology. What did we get? We got administrative AI, 5% across the board. Which is a good one. What do we do in physics then? Capacity subsidies. We do that. Energy grid is a new building. That will give us a technician. And energy credits from technician, plus one. And one more job. A fusion reactor. Don't think we need it. Service speed, 25%. I think I'll take the global energy management. Uh, yeah, global energy management. Let's take that one. I want to look at military again. We're at 64 again. That is good. I like to keep this above 50 there, right? Uh, the uh, effects otherwise are negatives. Immigration pool, plus five. Okay, good. So I need to get more of these quinti. Now... If we get this one, the engineering tech done, we can get that robot assembly plant. I do want to get that. Because right now we have a lot they can work on. They can only be workers, but they could fill in here very nicely. What about Platuri Prime? One job as a farmer. That's what we want. It's an agri-world. What about the last one? Unbar. Unbar has two miners now. You know what? It's a colony. I think I'll just switch it. What do we say here? We switch it to a mining world? Yeah, could do that, right? Yeah, let's do that. Go back here to planet summary. Auto designation. Let's do a mining. Now this will give us mining speed, uh, district build speed 25. Minor output 25%. That's good. Okay, only two extra planets. Well, three total now, right? Here's our science ship that returned. He's over here. I'm going to go down here again, and we'll survey down here, I think. Yeah, that was a good thing he didn't die, because he's our head of research, right? Yeah, he's giving us 6% in research speed. I'm going to keep that. Yeah, we know these are fine. Continue. Okay, now we're in Bindur. I'm going to go ahead and take this one. And then we'll go up here and just, as much as we can, at least Gardner, if I can get it, it would be nice. Okay, so we have an archaeological site that has been finished. That's in memoriam. Okay, what do we get? Head scientist Pendem wanted to comb through every nook and cranny of the memorial site. It paid off. A small device was discovered in one of the quarters. A small fragment of information could be salvaged from it. Good work. With their mental fac uh, faculties shut off, their very intellect removed, they would pose no threat. It must be enough. It's the only thing we have left we can do. The device also included some new coordinates. Pendem would like to investigate these as soon as possible. Well, yeah. Research option gained robotic workers. Ah, uh, robotic workers. Wait a minute. Uh, I want to check that. Oh, wait. In tech. We already have them. We would have gained that otherwise. Look at that. 3200. It's, it's done. We're going to gain that now. Okay, that worked out. Not. I mean, that's not bad. So let's see if we get that to be activated. There it is, right? Archaeological site. The last stand. Scanner readings from orbit indicate there's a structure down on the planet. Like the previous ones, this one is not buried underground. Okay. Be here. Beconda. All right, that would be you, our archaeologist. Yep, let's head over there. Excavate that site, please. And we also got a tech. What did we get? Well, we got the robotic workers, right? That's the one. So now we should get that plant right away. Although, remember I spent all that effort to get all that those jobs here on the Lutaria? And by the way, the way we are set up right now, we can have the workers, I mean the robots, be moved around between planets, but we cannot have other organic beings. So that's the convenient thing about the robots. We could actually build them somewhere else, move them over to Velotaria. So engineering, 22%. What did we get? Mining subsidies, 
That will give us minor... Oh, it's a edict. Okay. Minor and strategic resource gatherer output 50%. This one might be good to do. I do like it because we have quite a bit of energy to pay for that, but you know. And then mineral purification plants gives us another mineral uh, minor job. Yes, and we get uh, minor jobs plus one. Yeah, okay. Was production six. We can get the afterburners. I don't think I need it. That speed. Sublight speed 10%. Evasion. Well, actually, it's not bad to have this one. 2500 is pretty cheap. Or we can get the Corvette and Frigate build cost and build speed. Or that armor. The zero G refineries is also an option. Now, we didn't get the next level of robots. I don't know if because that they're too advanced at this point. It could be. I want to get this one. I might want to get this one. More mining. Not doing anything but building regular ships at for the at this point. We'll see when we find out who they are if we need to switch over to something more defensive. Our leader pool refreshed. Okay, we don't need to worry about it. I don't think we're not going to recruit anybody. Six out of six still. Technology discovered. And we what did we get? Tech construction complete the binder. Okay, good. That's very good. We only have 21 influence, so we can't do too much. I want to go up to Lithurian, that vortex, and take it. But uh, in the meantime, let's get some mining or some energy credits. And actually, six there in trade value. One, two, and three away from Vilotaria. That's no good, because right now Vilotaria has a range of two. And Turi... This only has a range of zero. Okay, yeah, we haven't built it up. I may want to do that and grab those six, right? That's six right now. It would be six extra energy income. Later, you can probably switch it over to be something else. Anyway, that is that. And we also have more tech. Planetary unification. That's unity. Always good. 5% increase. And edicts campaigns. I want to check those out. Before we do it, though, what do we have here? Hydroponics, farms, more food, three farming jobs. That planet could really take advantage of that. The two are prime. Off-world trade companies, we can have a Starbase building, which I don't think I can use right now. An Edicts Fund, 20. We can spend 20 more on Edicts. Let's look at the Edicts now. So the Edicts are over here. We have 26 in Unity available just from here. We can get two, one of these here. Fortify the border or encourage political thought. Doesn't really help. But that is not doing too much. If we get another 20, it's not going to do too much right now. What do we say we have options to do? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'll go for the hydroponics farm. It's pretty cheap, too. Good to get going there. We could maybe have just a one planet take care of all of our farming needs. We have quite a bit there. Farming districts available to build on that agri-world. And then finally, we have another tradition. We have two left here to get. Which one do we want? The courier network gives us a reduction in our empire size. That would be over here. Once we go over 100, it's going to be a, not a problem, but it will be a reduction in, well, a variety of things, I think. If we take this one, negative 25 is good. What about this one? Galactic Ambition, Starbase Upkeep, minus 20. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. We have energy. I'll take this one. For a network, it feels like we are pretty close to go over 90. As we get more population. Another event, the G aliens communications established. Okay, after successfully translating their language, we have established communications. Yeah, we gained 34 influence. influence. Excellent, the artisan troop. Our presence in the it is not actually an empire, but that's fine. Headmaster, Jurasco. A visitor, this is the joyous occasion indeed. Okay, artisan troop. What do we get? Pursuit of art, music, culture? Let's see, interesting. We're going to check them out right away. We should be able to look at them here in the contacts view. There they are. Yeah, we have to do a little bit of diplomas here, I think. What do they provide? We want to commission an art piece. What does that give us? They can do it. It's a deal. We pay 600 energy credits. That's not a problem. And their opinion goes up by 10. And we gain access to a planetary position called Exhibit Art Monument. And amenities got up by 15%. Migration goes up by 50 On one planet. You know what I want to do? I'm going to put that on Velotaria. 
Let's take that and uh, increase their opinion as well. Take that. I'm gonna go leave that for now. Let's go back into Velataria. We'll do decision here. Exhibit art museum. Yeah, right away, right? We get a modifier here, I think. Yeah, we do. And then it's 15%. It's negative too, but it's not gonna stay negative for long. That's excellent. Okay. Uh, what else do they have to offer? I think we had cash on hand. We should become your patron. That's going to be expensive, right? 1,000 credits. Patron of the Arts modifier added for 10 years. Monthly unity 10%, opinion 20. You know what I want to do? I want to take that. Why would we not, right? That, I'm going to have to remember that these do a lot for us there. Unity is great. Amenity is also good. Hmm, they have a festival we can organize, but we have to have 15 opinion. So we need to get more of these art pieces, uh, yeah, basically 20 more here. Okay, that's fantastic. That means now we have a modifier here. We gain, uh, we gain more um, unity here from this. That's excellent. So that's the artisan troop. Faction founded. Okay, now we get into factions. Let's see if that will help us out. The Alien Equality Movement showed up. And the Free Elections Network. And the Association of Scientific Ascendancy. Basically, all three showed up. That I was expecting. Uh, so let's see. If we go down to our... Where are they at? Oh, government, I think, right? Yeah, factions. Here. Are we fulfilling what they need? The approval rate here... Uh, for the Association of Certificates. Sentence is only 65. The other ones are pretty good. We get Happiness Boost of plus 5. Plus 10 here on these two. There's a few negative factors. Represented on Council. That's exactly what I was talking about before. We don't have all three on the Council. No Materialist, I guess. In Free Elections Network, they are missing Benevolent Subjugation Policy. There's no negative modifier, really, though, so it's 100. Alien Equality... Enclave Incorporated. Keeping any Enclave stations within our borders. Okay, no negative modifier. New contact, no negative modifier. This one, though, no negative modifier. Okay, so we just get 84. That's still good. Above 80 gives you 10% boost to happiness, I think. Right now, it's fine. That would give us um, quite a bit there of unity. That's, that's good. Yeah, I like it. Construction complete. Okay, construction complete in Bindur. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll, that's him here. I'm going to move him up to the Ethereum Vortex. We're going to take that. F67, yep. Take that, and then go over to Gardner. Yep. What else do we have? Lamed Aliens. Link, re and where was that at? Lamed. Was it down here? No, oh, that's Kergoros. That's this. No. It is down here. Yep, this one. The inquiry into the unidentified spacecraft that was observed in the WEO system continues, but insufficient data has been collected to make an informed hypothesis as to the exact origin of the vessel. Since we are likely dealing with a representative of a previously unknown alien civilization, right? Uh, efforts should be made to intercept their communications and begin a comprehensive analysis of their language. Well, keep at it. And we'll see what happens there. Now, Vilataria, what are we doing now? Yeah, plus three in amenities. Up to 73 now, that's good news. And then population, what do we get here? We have a modifier, uh, a new life. Not the one, immigration pool. Here, I guess, yeah, immigration pool. Art mu uh, monument exhibited, 50%. So that's looking pretty good. That is actually then stopping them maybe a little bit. From gaining as much, but I'm okay with Vilataria. We need more here. We have five jobs, right? Technology, what do we say? How far until... No, we can build one now. Didn't we say we could build one? Let's look at them. Um, maybe missing it now. Engineering. Yeah, we could do the plant now. We should get that now. But do we get it here? That's another job. What about the Turi Prime? That's our agri world. I don't really want to spend one of the slots here for that, right? There are no jobs right now. So getting one here would be helpful. 
It takes a little while for them to grow, but still. What about Kunbar Prime? There are no jobs there either. It's a mining world. And that one is almost due. Let's go ahead and get one of those robot buildings that we can reduce our robots. Where is it at? Robot assembly plant here. It's 600 minerals. Takes almost a year. We get one job there. Yeah, we'll take it. That's going to use up our alloys, right? But we're making 20. I feel we're doing good here. That's looking good to me. We need to find more planets, though. I feel we're getting a little bit locked in here, right? Locked in there. Once I've looked at Rastaban here, we need to go down here and grab as much as we possibly can. I'm worried about this. this they're going to take it now, right? Yeah, they're building. Look, they're building a station. They sure are. Yeah, so that's going to be a station here. The Omicron. Hey, oh. I never set them up. Okay. We'll accept you. Oh, that's a miss there. Beth aliens. They're being investigated. Lumet investigated. Oh my god. Being, oh, now they are. Okay. Six out of eight planets. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to find out who they are. They're going to find out who we are, basically, is what's going to happen there, I think. We found a terraform in Canada discovered on Zaldir 3. Okay, we could do that later, right? When we have climate restoration. This planet right here. Okay, something to keep in mind. Okay, here is an archaeological site event pending. The last stand. There was no need for shovels or drilling lasers this time around. I this is the benefactors. Head scientist Pendim and the archaeology team simply walked into the alien ruin. The site is very old, more than a thousand years, but fairly well kept. It appeared to be some kind of staging area built for a specific purpose. There are several laboratories and a large storage, or large storage, and large storage hangars. The team have found a digital archive server. It's offline, but appears fairly intact. Hopefully it will be in uh, the blanks regarding our la lost benefactors. It will fill in the blanks, yeah, it will fill in the blanks. I keep digging. One more clue. Cannot finish chapter just yet. Construction complete. And here we have our construction around the Lithurian vortex. Nothing we can do as far as getting the dark matter, but we'll go over to Gardner now. We need more of the influence, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can take it before they grab it. Yeah, I want this one, I want def definitely, so we can get at least this planet as well. And that would be a choke point in case these aliens are not friendly. We have two aliens now. One over here, one over there. Down south, only just this way out here. Well, they start us in trip down here, okay. So if we go down this way, I would like to take this planet, Malbion. But after we take Gardner, actually, why don't we get another instruction? Let's get that while we're at it, because I can then send him south so he can be ready to take Malbion, because Malbion is going to be important, I think. We take this one. There's a lot of minerals here. I don't want someone to come in and just grab it, you know, what we have down here. So let's call that good for this time, guys. Year 2250 now. I'll come back next time. We'll play more, I guess.